We first dealt with the subject of homosexuality some weeks ago on The Open Mind. At that time, my guests included a psychiatrist, a lawyer, a minister, teacher. And our discussion was general by design, not only because we had a delicate and a difficult subject to deal with, but also because we wanted to approach the matter from as many different points of view as we possibly could within half an hour. But my guest touched then on the statistic that male homosexuality covers a broad range or continuum of experience. That there is some indulgence in homosexual activities to some degree or other by between 37 and 50 percent of all male individuals, either in adolescence or afterwards. Obviously then, such activities do not make an individual unique or bizarre. Nor do they by themselves make him a homosexual. Those whose activities are exclusively homosexual, however, include approximately 4% of our male population, and we have here a problem of major proportions. Our panel tried to distinguish between that homosexual activity which harms society and that which does not. And the point was made that our legal attitude towards homosexuality often does not reflect medical opinion. For the law frequently considers it a crime, a crime to be punished, rather than a problem to be treated. Now, of course, we touched on many other aspects of homosexuality as well. And from your response to our program, it was obvious that a good many of you felt precisely as we did, that we have here a problem that affects us all, affects us as parents and as good citizens concerned with our nation's mental health, and that this problem should and can be discussed openly and freely. Many of your letters contain questions concerning the cause of homosexuality, its origins, particularly in childhood, its treatment, and the preventative measures that can be taken by the parent. Therefore, my guests today are two prominent physicians who are particularly well qualified to deal with these matters. First, my first guest is Dr. Philip Politon of the New York Psychiatric Institute and co-author with Ellen C. Filetine of Marriage in the Modern World, recently published by Lippincott. Our other guest is Dr. Harry Backwin. Dr. Backwin is president of the American Academy of Pediatrics.